right, everybody, thank you for coming and watching. You may recognize this lady, Doris F. Webster, or Dory, as I like to call her, because she has played my mom in the Darman videos. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetie. Thank you for being here today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so you have now coming up on 10 videos you've been in. Yes. يصابون بالمرض بشدة ويضطرون إلى البقاء وحدهم في المستشفى لأنه لا يسمح لعائلاتهم بزيارتهم. Great. And you did you start you started back when they were still operating out of the penthouse? Is that right? Yes. Oh, great. Dory, when did you start your acting career? Well, my acting career. Now that's a good question. <laughs> Where did you back. start dabbling in acting? I don't know how you want to, you know. <laughs> um, my first actual role in a movie was a Lifetime movie that I was in in 2015. Okay. And, and you were, it sounded like you were also working behind the scenes in the film industry like 50 years ago. Well, I used to do payroll, yes. Okay, for entertainment. A role in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> Here I was, born and raised in California, and I had to go to Tucson to get started in the movie business. <laughs> so in 2015, eight years ago, you had your first role in a movie. What was that like? Oh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was uh, someone who I think may be a mutual friend of ours, Michael Pfeiffer. Oh yes, I've done one film for him as well. He's a very prolific filmmaker. I think he's probably made 50, 60 films. He's like written, produced, and directed. It's great. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. So what was that What was that like having your first movie role? Well, it was a lot of fun because I, I knew the people I was working with. Mm -hmm. So they put a star on my dressing room with my name. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Yes, I felt very small. And I had one line. Mm -hmm. I appeared in the movie twice. I appeared in the beginning, just kind of an establishing thing. And then uh, later I had a line when the mom came in looking for her daughter. I asked her what she had. Okay. And just in case people want to look that up, what is the name of that movie? It is called 16 and Missing. Ooh, that and does I sound like really <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've we've talked about you've done ten Darman videos already, and um, what has been your favorite acting role to date that you've had in whether it's with Darman or any other place you've worked? What's been your favorite role? Oh, I started to tell you a while ago that um, Lutheran Actors Theater. Ensemble? I think I might have missed something. Anyway, <laughs> there's this Lutheran church in Studio City where they have a theater in the basement, and I have performed with them a few times. Okay. And one of the shows was five, five days or five nights in the uh, something county jail, and um, I w played a prisoner, so I had an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> saw the photos of that. I was wondering what that was from. I was like, why do they have Dory in a jumpsuit here? Something is, uh, <laughs> something is different. I played the role of the lady, Kim, I forget her last name, who uh, refused to uh, issue a marriage certificate to a lesbian couple. And so oh, she so went- like a real life reenactment thing? Well, you know based on a true story. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. So uh, next question is what has been, what has been your experience like uh, working with Darman or at Darman Studios? 
Okay. That's why I wanted to do this interview, because I wanted more positive stuff to get out there. Ah, okay. Yes, because it's it's when people reach out to me, I'm like, oh, they, I know they have something to say. If I'm not knocking on their door, they're knocking on mine. <laughs> so let, let us have it, Dory. Don't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> I have been struggling to pay my rent for a lot of years, but it has nothing to do with Garman. He has done yeah. nothing to help come up with some money toward my rent. Um, I have had an increase in my hourly rates um, a couple of times, and I haven't worked all that many times, you know. And uh, Darman is now paying a uh, daily minimum that's more than I used to get. It's more than mm. get. And Wow. I like that. <laughs> I I would like that too. Yes. <laughs> so and you're saying you you've only worked on ten projects. They've increased your pay two different times, and they've now doubled your daily rate from what it was when you first started. Yes. That's great. And I figured out that if I work at least four hours, I will make more than the minimum guarantee. But the minimum hey. it would be nice for you know less than four hours of work yeah well that's wonderful and and how about your time on set so it sounds like you're sounds like you're happy with the pay mm -hmm. and, and i enjoyed meeting new people and uh one young man that i met is unfortunately very active in the protests but oh. he is fine he's a good friend of yours yeah, it's it's been really difficult when you've got friends because I I can I considered and I still consider some of the protesters my friends and that's the difficult thing when you have such a big divide over um, your perception of how the workplace is. It's it's almost it's almost like are are we working at the same place? I don't understand. Um, yeah. It's been, some of it has been extremely shocking. So you and quite surprising to me is that the the people protesting are people who've gotten more work than I have, obviously. And um, it concerns me that they're complaining about it because I feel like I would just be grateful <laughs> if I were <laughs> more work. And I understand that you know everything's not perfect, but. When something is starting out and they're new to the industry, um, there's a learning curve. Yeah, for sure. We've I've witnessed a lot of the learning curve and 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 and, and changes and and a lot of changes for the better. You know, things yeah. stepping it up a notch. And I think some of it was like you said, new to new to the industry. Uh, never you know, the people running the place never having worked like at a studio before or knowing how industry standard is or how things should be done. Uh, so that, you know, some of it was just like not knowing. And then when they are made aware of certain things, I've seen the changes like, okay, oh, this, okay, this is how it's done. <laughs> this is what we're supposed to do. So for sure. For sure, I've seen those improvements happen. Is there something else you wanted to say about that? Well, there is one thing I wanted to make sure that I got across, and that is that uh, one of my early experiences, and by the way, I've never seen Dar in person, but uh, I talked on the phone one time. You did? Yes, because I had worked in a uh, shot, uh, in the penthouse, or we worked out of the penthouse actually. We met there, I don't remember <laughs> for sure what all went on, but we had lunch there. And uh -huh. I, they ordered us all uh, foot long sandwiches from Subway, and I only ate half of mine. I put the other half in the refrigerator. And then uh -huh. when I, I forgot to take my leftover sandwich with me. So I went and asked the security guard if I could get back to the refrigerator in the penthouse to get my leftover sandwich. Uh -huh. 
it was locked and the people who were still there were outside shooting somewhere oh locked up so he called dar oh and, <laughs> and he told me he would issue a payment for the sandwich instead of oh that so is i got i got 25 dollars for a sandwich that probably cost like seven <laughs> I did not know that. That is such a great story. I went to eat at Friday's <laughs> with the extra. Like, forget the other half of that Subway sandwich. I'm going to Friday's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, really I thought that was very generous of him, and I really appreciated it. And, uh... Yes. That. Thank you for sharing that, because that's, that's just the type of stuff that I see that they do. Like, if they know that you have a need or an issue or that something went on, I, I see them do that all the time. I remember one time on set we were shooting and, you know, we bring our own props usually. Well, not anymore. Now they have a props person. But literally on the penthouse days, we bring our own props. And I did. A, I was doing a scene over and over where a guy steals my purse. And my, like my, my purse strap ended up getting broken. And, and I just, you know, just mentioned it and they, said you know what how much is it you know here's what's the replacement cost and I found one online that was similar and got it and I just sent them the receipt and they paid for that bag immediately and that's you know I don't know that's just that's well that's kind of like a normal thing but for you that was like uh, above and beyond like <laughs> you know they could have just gave you five bucks for the other half of the sandwich you know what I'm saying <laughs> so that's really cool um, what, just so the audience can get to know you better, they might recognize you, they might not, because I think it's been a few months since you've worked on one, or has it been over a year since you've worked on one? Yes. Okay, it's been okay. She did a, you did a stint where you were kind of in and out regularly nine times, and then now I hear you're coming back for one next week, or? Okay. Cool. Put a one-liner next week. But um, hey. I think the one I'm most noticed for, yeah, uh, because they actually put my picture on the the front, you know, where you could find it. Oh, um, so you were on the thumbnail. The That's <laughs> recognized. I think they've changed it since then, but they had me on there. Uh, it's where uh, Mayor plays my daughter, who is very mean to me when she takes me to lunch. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but the pasta here is delicious. My mom used to order it all the time. And she won't get decide what I want, and I spill water, and she gets all mad and sends me off to clean myself up. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. And I'm using a cane, uh, which is a purple cane. <laughs> And uh, at the end, of course, she has her come to Jesus moment where she decides to be a nice person. And we have a tender moment uh, where she tells me she loves me and all that stuff. Yes, I, I remember that video well. And because that, that was one of the few times that she's, her character has ever had like a, <laughs> no, but not, <laughs> a nice turnaround moment. So that's the one you get recognized for the most. That's wonderful. What, so the fans can get to know you better. Um, what is something interesting about you that most people don't know? Well, at 76, I'm still the baby of my family. And <laughs> older is 94 now. And uh, she's still in pretty good shape. She. Uh, does the schedule for the people who work in the kitchen serving in the cafeteria where uh, she lives in Penny Retirement Center in Jacksonville, Florida. Wow. She took up videography after she moved there. She does the videos of their 
They have a party every year for all the people who are over 100, and they have quite a few. And she and I agree that we think that the reason there are so many people over 100 who live there is because they have a purpose in life. They all get to volunteer helping with something, and uh, it, it helps to have a purpose. Absolutely. That's a big thing. Otherwise, why, why people think, well, why am I here? I'm just too old. I'm done. I'm washed up. What's the point? Yeah. That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Tell me, um, is there any question you wish I would have asked you, but I didn't? Well, you could ask me what my uh, other job is that I make more money from than acting. What is your side hustle, Dory, when you are not acting? I teach chess to elementary school kids. That's and they're the ones who recognize. <laughs> I got recognized by uh, some kids that were in a chess summer camp a couple of years ago. Aww. And that made me feel really special. I also got recognized one time at a Jack in the Box window, <laughs> or maybe it was Taco Bell. I don't remember. <laughs> this girl <laughs> said, "You look so familiar to me," and then she wouldn't let it go. She said again. I keep wondering where I know you from. And I said, well, at first I asked her about church because that's where I usually know people from. And then I said, well, have you seen any Darman videos? And she goes, oh, Darman, that's you. Oh, you're so good. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Dory, let me ask you, what is the philosophy you live your life by? Try to be as much like Jesus as possible. And how do you find that manifesting for you in how you go about your daily business or what you do? Oh, I try to be nice to people, mm -hmm. treat them well. Um, when I find myself losing patience with people or not being so nice, I kind of rein it in and go, well, oh, wait a minute, would Jesus be happy with you right now? and kind of change my direction. <laughs> I know sometimes we wish we would rein it in sooner. Like, oh, yes. I write out. things on Facebook back to people who said something not so nice. And then I go, uh -huh. I, wasn't, I was being more like them. <laughs> Don't let those fingers type so fast. I know <laughs> in this day and age of the safety behind your computer at home, sometimes easy to say a lot of, nasty things and it's something we all have to <laughs> well maybe we don't all have to learn to be better at it but that whole silence is golden is is great <laughs> dory what would be one last message you would want to leave with fans what would you want fans to know well uh, i would want people to know that i am finally writing books i've talked about for a while and oh. if who keep on the lookout you are likely to see books by dory webster one of these days oh my goodness congratulations well you will definitely have to keep us posted where can they find you or follow you on social media to keep up with this stuff the first one is going to be a kindle book and it will be available on amazon Sweet. and it is about the time in the early 70s that I worked for Sidney Poitier. Ooh, that's that, amazing. What a legacy he was. I can't wait to read that one. He was a wonderful person. That's great. Any last bit of encouragement or anything you want to say? Well, I think there's nothing better to encourage people with than the admonition from the Bible, which is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to, to talk with us today and let the fans get to know you better. Um, I hope to see you in a lot more of these videos in the future. Thank you, Catherine. And by the way, so yes. everyone that so you got me into Darman videos by asking me to play your mom. <laughs>
Yeah, I think the I think the mom character had fallen through at the last minute, and I was like, I know just the person. <laughs> and uh, I think you've always done a great job. All right, thank you for spending time with us today. Thank you, Catherine. It was fun.